Hey, it's Gutfox here. Today's video is going to be a pack opening. Uh, it's sponsored by Pack Luck. And uh, if you're looking for a Tim Tebow pull, an Eagles Tim Tebow, you'll have to go to another YouTuber. Um, so this first pack is one of my worst packs I get here. Uh, I record this. I'm recording this uh, audio after the fact, so you won't see me jump and shout when I pull something amazing here. Uh, the first value uh, that pack was valued at fourteen thousand six hundred seventy-three coins, which is a little bit less than the seventy thousand coins it would have took to buy this. So we'll go through a few of the assumptions I made when putting these coin values together. I figured the four team items in each game changer pack is barely about three hundred coins a piece for twelve hundred coins in each pack. That second game changer pack right there was about fourteen thousand one hundred sixty-nine coins. Uh, I got a gold badge in each pack, and that I valued about 6k, so for all 9 packs put together that's 54,000 coins, which ended up being about 15.7% of my total value. So if you can do the math quick in your head, you can figure it out. And we get back to back Steeler Elites, that Martavius Bryant is my spectacular catch trampoliner on the goal line. Uh, that was. That pack was the best pack I've had so far. A veteran pack and two elites in it. Uh, the total pack coin value of all of them is 223,510. Those are the game changers and uh, veteran pack value. Uh, this next pack's pretty good. We get a Hankins elite, followed by a T Earl Thomas elite. Hankins and Thomas. Pretty good duo right there. Hankins is valued a bit out. 14,348 coins and Earl Thomas at 6,581 so not great but not terrible uh, that worse that total pack was 34,718 coins this next pack uh, mainly due to Amukamara its price valued at 25,358 coins so that one was pretty average my best pack was that Palomalo and Bryant pack earlier at 38,958 coins Bryant at 17,931 coins was my second most valuable pull. You haven't seen the most valuable one yet. That one's coming. That's what we like to call a teaser in the business. Hopefully stay around for a couple more packs. So this veteran pack here, it ended up not being terrible. Though it won't let me open it there. I just say, hey, let's open the flashback. Here's my most valuable pull. Mecklenburg. Great run stuffing overall linebacker 97 play rec 95 block shed 90 strength he can tackle he can run a little he's aware where the ball is so he ended up being about 120,000 coins according to my manager this veteran pack here uh, actually wasn't too much worse than my first two game changer packs those were about 14,000 coins this one's valued at just a little over 11,000 coins, and that's mainly due to that gold badge pull for 6,000. So you can add that 11,000 coins onto the third game changer pack, the Palomalu and Bryant pack, the pack that keeps giving. That 11,000 onto the 38,958. Basically a 50,000 coin pack uh, for that one game changer, which still doesn't equal the value out of what you would put in for coins. But overall, that was a very good uh, game changer. The best one I had. That last pack with Michael Johnson was a 26,470 coin pack. Overall, solid um, for the game changers that I'm getting. It's an 88 overall elite. Um, this next one's not as good. It's valued at uh, 18,844 coins. And we've got one game changer left. Um, so getting into the final last game change is 22,550 coins. So getting into the totals uh, Total value of the bundle including the topper is 343,885 coins uh, That's if I was sold everything at market value and it does take a while to sell everything from a Bundle so it might go down by the time I able to get it So but if you take that number and you take 10% off for sales tax that bundle I was able to get 309,000 coins approximately uh, which is less than if I would have bought that bundle with coins which I know you can't uh, buy the topper but if I would have bought it with coins it would have costed 630,000 coins so you would have 
lost 320,000 coins if you would have bought that bundle with coins. Uh, so overall, you know, buying packs with coins, everybody knows it's not worth it. Uh, uh, I lost over 50% of the theoretical coins I bought it with, but I bought it with money and uh, it's, it's not, it wasn't too efficient, uh, but I'll get into my thoughts on coin buying in another video. Call to action. See you later.